We will now show you how to open the device in offline mode in order to edit it. In this operating mode, you can specify parameter values, route information, create interlocks, edit the display image and more. In this topic, we are first going to show you how to open a device, how to customize the functional scope of the device in Digzy 4 and what to do to change individual parameter values. First open the device which you've previously inserted in the project. This is easily done by double clicking the device symbol or right click the symbol and select open object from the pop-up menu that appears. In the connection dialog make sure that the offline option is checkmarked and then click OK. Thereafter Dixie 4 does the rest. Once all the necessary data is loaded, Dixie Device Editor is displayed. Our task requires us to switch over parameter groups due to specific conditions. In order to do this, you first need to activate the Setting Group Change option. The relevant parameter is assigned to the device configuration. You'll find this parameter in the top line of the Select dialog. Select the entry Enabled in the list box and click OK. In the list view of the Dixie Device Editor, you will now see four symbols instead of one, one each for the groups A to D. You now need to specify what can trigger a switchover to one of the individual groups. To do this, find the entry Change Group in the list view. Now open the relevant dialog box. Set the relevant parameter so that the group change is carried out over binary input. The switchover of the groups can now be triggered by a signal at the binary input, by pressing a function key, by an internal indication or, as required for our example, by the result of a logical function. Now change the settings for the current and voltage transformers. To do this, open Power System Data 1. You will find the parameters for the current transformer in the CTs tab. The nominal transformer currents displayed can be edited directly in the display field. Enter 1200 amperes for the primary nominal current and 5 amperes for the secondary nominal current. The VTs tab contains the parameters for the voltage transformer. Here you also need to change the values displayed for the primary and secondary nominal transformer voltages. Change them to 12 kV and 120 volts, respectively. The changes you make here then apply to all parameter groups. Protection functions, such as time over current protection, are set individually for each group. However, first you need to specify whether you want the displayed value to correspond to a secondary value or a primary value. For our example, we're going to set the input and display of primary values. Now open group A and select the 5051 phase ground over current entry so you can edit it. Go to the 50 tab for this protection function and change both of the starting currents and the associated delay times. Enter the values 2500 amperes and 0.1 seconds and 1200 amperes and 0.3 seconds in the respective boxes and then click OK. Of course, you also need to change the values of group B to match the practical circumstances. To do this, simply follow the same procedure as before for group A.